One year on, we are no further forward. Indeed, what we have is a devastated industry, jobs lost and global Britain shut for business. More than not being any further forward, we've gone backwards. Uh, we now have over 50% of the adult population vaccinated, a wonderful programme, um, yet we're more restricted on travel than we were last year. Last year, in 2020, I went to Switzerland in August, South Korea in September. There was no vaccine, travel was possible. This year, there is a vaccine, travel is not possible. Uh, I really don't understand this, the stance the government is taking. Of course, it is permissible to travel to countries on the amber list, provided you are, it's practicable for you to quarantine when you come back. But government ministers tell people that they mustn't travel. They can't go on holiday to places on the amber list. The messaging is mixed and the system chaotic. Portugal was put on the green list, people went to the football, then Portugal was put on the amber list, leaving holidaymakers scrabbling for fights, flights and devastated families having to cancel their plans. Not to mention the impact on the airlines, on travel agents here and on the travel industry, the tourist industry, in our longest standing trading partner in Europe. Business travel is practically impossible. Global Britain has shut its doors to business and investors. In the normal year pre-pandemic, uh, passengers through Heathrow spent £16 billion across our country, including at places like Legoland Windsor, which is partly in my constituency. That has been lost. I think there are some facts that the government needs to be upfront with, with the British people, and that ministers need to think a bit more of when they're making these decisions. First, we will not eradicate COVID-19 from the UK. There will not be a time when we can say that there will never be another case of COVID-19 in this country. Secondly, variants will keep on coming. There will be new variants every year. If the government's position is that we cannot open up travel until there are no new variants elsewhere in the world, then we will never be able to travel abroad ever again. And the third fact that the government needs to state much more clearly is that sadly people will die from COVID here in the UK in the future, as 10 to 20,000 people do every year from flu. And we are falling behind the rest of Europe in our decisions to open up, as my right honourable friend, the member for Altrincham and Sale West, has indicated. The government may say all it has, as the Minister has, about the importance of the aviation industry, but it needs to decide whether it wants an airline industry and aviation sector in the UK or not, because at the rates it's going, it won't have one, certainly not as a key sector in, our, in the economy as it was pre-pandemic. It's incomprehensible, I think, that one of the most heavily vaccinated countries in the world is one that is most reluctant to give its citizens the freedoms those vaccinations should support. Yeah.